Now we're going to make the cat count. For this, we're going to introduce new variables. So first, we go to the category and select make a variable. We can give it any name we like, so let's call it counter. Now, we'll start by initializing the counter value to zero. And then for each step around the loop, we're going to increase the counter by one and then get the cat to say what that value is up to. So counter is just the name of the variable. We could call it n or x or what to say, but at any given time, it holds a numerical value. It's a good time to look at the ordering of events here. We started at zero, then at the start of the loop, we increase the value, then the cat says what the value is, and we pause before starting the next cycle of the loop. Now if we wanted the cat to start at zero, we could change the zero to a negative one, or we could change the updating code to speak before it updates the value of the counter. In this case, we just repeated the loop 10 times. If we use a forever loop, the cat will keep on counting until we press stop. However, we can also set up a stopping condition. In Scratch, this is the repeat until loop. So let's set this up so that the cat will keep counting until it reaches 100. We can specify that condition as stopping once the counter value is greater than 99. So it'll run 100 times through in this case, or if we change the updating condition so that it increases by 10 each time, now the loop will only run 10 times. So it's dependent upon what this condition is. And of course, we could ask the user to set either the stopping condition or the number to count by. We can also set these up as variables and then we can initialize them to the user specified input. Note that answer, the variable, will change after we ask the next question. So, now we've seen how to set up multiple variables which can be used to make many different types of interactive algorithms.